it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com and I'm here with my little Yorkie Ellie and we're welcoming you to our Friday Facebook Live today and Ellie has something special. She's always tired at this time of day but she has something special for you today and that is her hair bow. So I made Ellie's hair flower. It's actually a flower and let's see if I can get it a little bit closer to the camera. Can you get your little face closer? Can you guess what it's made out of? It's made from daisy, um, daisy punches. And I've used two brand new colors, the Magenta Madness and the Bumblebee colors. And I'm just gonna click over here and see if, make sure we're on. Um, checking my my page there, Pretty Paper Cards. I like to make sure that you're seeing it and this is the way I can tell. So let me see if we're going. Okay, we're going. Hey, Brian, good to see you. Okay, so here is Ellie's bow that was her flower bow that was made with um, daisy punches and the little small flower punch. Move over here, baby. There you go. Can you? <laughs> Anyway, I thought it would be fun to make her a bow with um, the new in colors. I thought it would just be a fun thing to do to let you know that you can make anything with in colors. I use glue and then I just use some tear and tape to stick it on to a little hair clip that I had. So we'll see. I haven't let her be down with it. So we'll see when I put her down if she runs around and chews it or gets it off or something. Um, anyway. Um, welcome to Friday Facebook Live, a Friday before a wonderful three-day weekend and so many things are open. Um, you can go to parks. I don't know about your area, but here we can go to the park and go to the beaches and things like that. Um, so, I, and the weather here is going to be beautiful, although I hear that around the country it's going to be rainy, that it might be rainy in other parts of the country. But um, anyway, welcome to this little moment before you start your big three-day weekend. Now, last week I offered for anybody who shared our video and let me know that they shared, I offered some ribbons and we had five people share and I have two winners and actually they're two Carols, two girls named Carol. So um, some beautiful thick red ruched ribbon, where am I going? And this goes to Carol Ann McMullen and I'll be sending that out to her this week. And another Carol, um, some jute ribbon, and she um, actually commented on my blog. You know, on Mondays, I post this Facebook Live video so that uh, the blog readers can watch it. And I also post more close-up pictures for you of the cards that we made. And so Carol B. commented on my blog, and she shared, the video so these are going out to these girls this week and if you would like to share which I really appreciate hey Carol um, I really appreciate you sharing my my Facebook live videos and I really want you to do it that's why I give you prizes so if you share this week I have only one prize but it is a good one okay this is the stone 3d embossing folder and this was something i'm giving it away as a gift and this was uh, something that was available during celebration with the power of hope bundle and this is what i'm going to send to anybody who shares this week so please share my video with your friends and with someone who really needs to would love to see some cards and how to make them so I'm going to put Ellie down and we're going to hope she doesn't chew her pretty new bow. Let her take her little nap and we will start here. Let me just see if I can get my camera, uh, my picture over here a little bit larger so I can see comments. Hey girls, happy birthday Sue Moore. Yesterday you had a birthday. Hi Lori, Patricia. Robin, thanks everybody for popping in. Okay, now let's see. I've got a new little something here. Yay! I was able to switch between the two cameras. I'm so excited. None of that crazy stuff. Um, so what I want to tell you about is my product shares. If you don't know what a product share is, it's um, 
well, when a brand new catalog comes out, there are gobs of new papers, there are gobs of new ribbons, and you might want to try them, but you might not have the money to buy all of them. So a product share is bits of each, um, yards of each ribbon and pieces of the different designer series paper that I will send you if you uh, want to order one of my shares. So I'm having a ribbon share, and here's the picture that was on my blog. There are 21 new ribbons, and you will get two yards of 19 ribbons and four yards of two different ribbons. It's just the way it worked out. So a total of 46 yards in my ribbon share for $40, and that includes shipping. Pretty big deal, huh? I thought it's a good deal. So here is my paper share, and the paper share, you get six by six inch pieces, and you'll get two six by six inch pieces of each and every brand new paper in the catalog um, for a total of, let me see, I had that circled here for myself. Um, hmm. Here we go. A total of 136 six by six sheets of designer series paper. Um, and one paper share is only $45, including shipping. And you can order both of them from me for $80. So I wanted to tell you about those. The way that you get one is that you just email me, Peggy, at prettypapercards.com, and let me know which one you're interested, or both, and I will send you a confirming email. And then next Wednesday on the 27th, I will send out uh, PayPal invoices you can pay with any credit card or debit card. And then um, you have to pay by June 2nd, and on June 3rd, I will order all the papers and all the ribbons. The catalog goes live on June 3rd. I'll get it, package it all up to you, and send it out. So I need an email with whether you want ribbon or paper share or both, and your shipping address and I will respond to you. So I wanted to let you know about that opportunity, especially with the annual catalog, because this catalog um, is good for an entire year. So you're gonna be able to use these papers and ribbons, and people will be using them for a whole year. And I think it's a pretty neat thing to do. So that's my offer for this week. Now let's make a card. Now last week, or during this past week, I posted a card that I got a lot of response. A lot of people like this card that was made with the um, Painted Poppy stamp set and the Peaceful Moment stamp set. And I got a lot of response and I thought you might like to know how to make this. So that's what we're gonna do today. But first I've got some, I want, we're gonna make a different one with different colors and a different designer series paper. But first, I want to show you some other options that I created this week just to show you what you can do once you learn the design. So here's a card, still with the same stamp set. Let me get it straight for you. And this uses the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper, paper which is, uh, has balmy blue in it. And isn't that pretty? I'm just going to get it a little closer for you. Um, so that you can see how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty and all colored? Coloring with Stampin' Blends. And then of course I added some stamping on the inside and on the coordinating envelope. And here is another option that I did, which is using the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper. And I think this is a really pretty one. And then this, I think, is Pear Pizzazz paper and the pretty, um, really pretty, um, Lovely Lipstick ink, which is being retired. So guess what? We're going to use Lovely Lipstick ink today. Um, I'm going to put all the measurements uh, down below the video, and I'm also going to put them on my blog on Monday so you can be watching for those two places if you don't want to take notes. So let's get started and make our card. And today we're going to use the same as my first sample one that I posted for you the other day. This is a piece of the Settles Designer Series paper um, that is current in the current catalog that ends on June 2nd and it comes in all the Settles colors. And today we're gonna use the gingham side and the color is Soft Seafoam, which is one of my favorites. And we have our 
card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half inches of Whisper White cardstock, and it is scored at four and a quarter inches. And I'm going to burnish that with my bone folder. Let me get my glasses on because I have to see to be able to really make it, make make it correctly. And that we're gonna glue that on, but first we're gonna do a little stamping. We have to stamp the poppies. And to stamp the poppies today, I'm using my Stamparatus. I don't know how many of you have a Stamparatus or a stamp positioning tool, but they are invaluable. And um, I'm gonna show you how to use it with this set. And it's the piece Painted Poppy Stamp Set. And we're gonna use this stamp right here today. Okay, so what I've done is I have gone ahead and I'm going to show you this is the clear plastic piece that holds the stamp and I placed my stamp on it and can you see there are quite a few grid lines in there but can I don't know if you can see the grid lines that are on the plastic uh, plate and I've lined the base of the stamp up with those grid lines and then here is my stamp apparatus and it has grid lines and so I went ahead and figured out where I wanted my piece of paper to go. This is a four and a quarter by three inch piece of Whisper White and I want it to go right there and this is how you can get something straight. If you line it up with the grid lines on your paper, this is a little um, piece of um, paper that we get. It's, it's a grid paper just like we have for stamping, only it's for the stamp apparatus. And I made a little mark right here. So I'm going to put my magnets and I've covered my magnets with some uh, pink and white polka dot duct tape because it helps me to lift them e more easily. And then when I went to position my stamp, I positioned it straight along that grid line there. So it should come out all straight. I hope this is helping you. And we are going to stamp, ink up our stamp rather, with some Pear Pizzazz ink. And actually what I like to do is put the stamp case underneath the plate. It helps the um, ink to go on more evenly. So I'm gonna ink up that stamp with Pear Pizzazz ink. And then I'm going to just pull that over and press it down on my Whisper White cardstock. And there we have our stamp, a stamped image. Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're gonna set our stamp apparatus aside and we are going to color this cute little stamped image. I really do think it's such a nice, um, it's just versatile, it's soft, it's not um, bold and in your face or anything like that. So let me see about my comments. What's going on here? What are you talking about? I'm looking for comments. Yes, we love the, I love gingham and I love the ticking stripe that was on the come sail away. Well, we're gonna color in our little tiny poppies with lovely lipstick stamp and blends. And I think these are probably retiring on June 2nd also, and that's why I wanted to use this color because I'm gonna really miss it. It's been a real favorite of mine, as you might imagine. So what we're gonna do is I use the brush end of my Stampin' Blends, and I'm gonna be tipping my head down here. And remember, it's just kind of a painting. This is the light one. I hope you can see this. Let me get it a little more up there. And I just color in, and remembering this is kind of a watercolor look stamp set anyway, so you don't have to color perfectly, you don't have to get in every corner. Just give some color to every little poppy there. You know, I was thinking about it, and California poppies are usually orange or yellow. So I, maybe they're bright red, but I really have never seen a pink poppy. There could be some. But I think I'm going a little out on a limb here, coloring pink poppies, but this is my creation, right? I get to make it whatever color I want. 
And then we have these little tiny buds down here and I'm just giving them a little dot of color, just a tiny dot. Now I'm gonna show you how to give your flowers just a little depth in, in a second as soon as I get them all colored with the light um, lovely lipstick color because the more you blends are made to blend colors right that's why they're called blends and so if you um, add another color and or go over it another time you get a more depth of color which is why we use these these alcohol markers it adds depth and character to our creations okay one dot there we go so we have all of our poppies colored there now i'm going to go back in with the dark lovely lipstick um oh goodness sakes i got that all over myself wow that was bad let me get a kleenex and wipe that off oh goodness sakes I just got carried away there. Okay, so we're just ignore the ink on my fingers. We all get ink, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with the dark lovely lipstick blend, and we're just gonna put a tiny dot. You could, and maybe I will, just use the, um, the little pointed end. And so I'm gonna color the center. Just put little dots and color the center of the each poppy. And it really adds something to your card, I think. Even a tiny dot on those teeniest ones. Doesn't that just add a little bit of depth there? A little bit of interest to your flower? This is what makes our cards different from something another person can make. When we use these different products and they're all color coordinated, that's what Stampin' Up! is so famous for, is their color coordination. I think I'll give that one a little more color there. Do you see what I mean? Isn't that, doesn't that just stand out a little bit more? I'll hold it up closer to the camera so you can see it. Isn't that cute? I, I like it too. Alrighty, now let's get our card put together here. Where are our pieces parts? Oh, we have one more bit of stamping to do. We have our sentiment to stamp and I'm using the Peaceful Moments stamp set. Now this set, is it's a coordinating set to the to the painted poppies um, they were both part of a suite in the mini catalog the june to excuse me january to june 2020 mini catalog which is still available until june 2nd and i'm also using these because guess what they're carrying through they're carrying over to the next catalog so I'm happy about that. They're really beautiful. And today I'm gonna to use the stamp that says, Life is Better with a Friend Like You. And what I wanted to tell you, what you will do is, I have these papers over here. You would take a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. And what I would normally do is I would stamp my sentiment on the scrap piece and then I'm using um, a rectangular die from the Ornate Layers dies. And then I would put this on here and run it through the die cutting machine, making sure I could get everything even and just so. But because I didn't really have time to do that today, I'm taking a risk and I'm going to try to stamp it even. I have an extra piece of paper in case I don't stamp it even. So again, the glasses have to come on here. Alrighty, so we're going to ink up the stamp and let's see if I can get it on correctly. Right in the middle there. Not too bad, okay. I'm always so excited when I get something on even. So now we have all of our layers ready to go and we can just build our card. It's really an easy card, I have to tell you. That's why I wanted to show it to you because um, there, I had so many nice comments about it and I just wanted to show you that it's really easy. So this is the piece of the Settles Designer Series paper. They come in six by six and this is the um, Soft Sea Foam paper. And this is from the current annual catalog, but this is retiring. So I wanted to use it. And I cut it at four and a quarter by five and a half, the exact same 
dimension as my card front, which I don't always do, but that's what I wanted to do this time. I want to lay out my sample card so we can kind of check it. I like to always check my sample, especially when I'm doing it for you because I want to do it right. Now, this piece, I think that is not cut, that is a little bit of a rough edge there. You see how that's just a little rough and from cutting? And when that happens, I just press down with my bone folder and that will take that away. All right, now my goal is to have about an inch at the top and about an inch on the bottom. So I'm gonna glue this again with my multi-purpose glue onto the front of my card and I'm gonna come down about an inch from the top of the card, right about there. I think it's pretty good. And line it up on the edges and just press. Okay, now we're gonna put on our, I cut a piece of soft seafoam cardstock to match the gingham paper, and this is four and a quarter by one and a half. This is coordinating cardstock to the gingham. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue it right up there to the base of the flowers. So just put, put the glue right on. I'm telling you, it's an easy card, very, very easy. Okay, there we go. And now while that sets for a minute, I'm gonna put some Stampin' Dimensionals on my sentiment piece. And the sentiment piece, um, it ends up being four inches by one inch. That will tell you if you're using the correct die. This is the die from the Ornate Layers dies. Let me show them to you, just to make sure you know which ones I'm talking about. They are brand new in the annual catalog, but they were an early release. And we've been able to, you've been able to get them during the month of June. And these are, they are beautiful, beautiful dies. And I, of course, I picked the most plain one to use today, but it worked for my purposes. And I just like the size and everything. So that's how I, that's the die that I used to cut this. And I'm gonna put my dimensionals on. And we're just going to pop this up in the center of our cardstock piece, our soft seafoam cardstock piece. And I like it because the um, the stitched edging gives a nice little, little, um, just a little bit of interest. And there you go. Wasn't that an easy card? I'll hold it up so you can see it a little closer. I'm telling you, it's really an easy card to make. And it uses the, I, you know, the poppies are just such a beautiful set. I'm going to see if I can put them all out for you so you can see all the different ones. I'll move them over a little bit. Aren't those just pretty? And now I've got four beautiful cards to send out, right? You could do the same thing. I just love them. Um... Patricia, thank you. Brian, thank you all for your comments. I'll read them close, more closely later. But this is an easy card, a fun card. You could use any designer series paper and any combination of your Stampin' Blends. You could also use uh, watercolor pencils. You could use your Stampin' Markers. It's a cute little design, and I thought you would really enjoy it. So now just a reminder, don't forget about my ribbon and paper shares. Um, because the 27th, next Wednesday, is the last day to order um, to order them from me, at least this batch. So I want to make sure you know about those. And then also, don't forget to actually share this video with a friend or to your timeline, and you will have a chance to win this great stone 3D embossing folder. Okay, I want to thank you so much for watching today. I'll just come back. Um, see if I can get this to come, come back. Oh, well, anyway, let me try it one more time. I'm going to try it again. I wanted to bring my face back. I'm still learning my new, um, this is a new program 
There we go. Okay. I wanted to make sure to do that at the end, to say hi and bye and have a really great weekend. Pop over to my blog, prettypapercards.com, and email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com about your shares or about anything. If you have any questions, if you forget how to do the shares, email me and I will respond right away. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next Friday. Okay, bye-bye.